so there's been some controversy recently about how many colours there should be in the rainbow flag. Uh, and this is an interesting question. If you're into physics, how many colours are in the rainbow? Does this, does this mean, should the rainbow be actually infinite? Or does the quantized nature of reality mean it is merely inconceivably vast? And if you're into flags, the question is, should it be six or eight? This poem is called Rainbow. To celebrate its diversity, South Africa became the Rainbow Nation. There are a few problems with this. Black isn't on the rainbow. White isn't on the rainbow. Brown isn't on the rainbow. Pink isn't on the rainbow. No one's actual skin colour is on the rainbow. How can this be if a rainbow shows every type of light? Well, our eyes have only three colour sensors, so we can't tell a mix of blue light and green from the aquamarine that lies in between, but no red plus purple isn't myrtle. So you invent a colour. Magenta, discover the rainbow, is not enough. You must add pink. This prompts you to think things reflect the whole spectrum to different extents, and some colours don't exist if they get too intense. To find brown, turn things down. Because the same light could look orange or yellow, like grey looks white, when the dimness around it makes it look bright. The amount reflected matters too. Look, what I'm trying to tell you is colours complex, context dependent, curiously hard to see how you can judge by the colour of skin. Whatever kind of content lies within when you can't even pick out from that shade the actual light waves overlaid. So when we talk of a rainbow of people or preferences, understand that our language has limited references because people don't fall on a line any more than they fit into boxes. A spectrum is too small an infinity to capture personality. So if you've dared to have a dream where real people can be seen because they know what eyes and words don't show, then you can find me somewhere over the rainbow. Yeah.